This is the second video in my From a Poet's Reading series, and for this video, I decided to go with uh, a classic American writer, Robert Frost, particularly a poem of his called Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near between the woods and frozen lake the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bell a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sound is the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. I just love those last lines. I'll be honest, I don't know much about Robert Frost. We never really studied him when I was in high school, and we went over this particular poem when I took American literature classes in, in, in college, but this guy's right up my alley. I love the rhyme scheme, uh, and that, that, that miles to go before I sleep. I know I heard it somewhere, probably on a video or something, somebody famous reciting it because I know the name Robert Frost. Uh, it's one of those, kind of like a ground poem, you know, one of those you grow up with. Um, so, yeah, this is the second poem I decided to share because I just, I love it. It's it's great. It's uh, It sets that mood right from the title, you know, stopping by woods on a snowy evening. Everybody at least that's experienced snow, knows how quiet it is, especially when everybody's huddled in for the evening and you got to be out doing something. You know, you got promises to keep and miles to go before you sleep. It's like this this guy is stopping by for a quick respite and he's reveling in nature. And that's something being from, uh, I am from the South, I'm from the country. I love nature. It's something I write about. Uh, it's I, I love elbow room. Living in cities really, really, really irritates me at times. Um, so, uh, so uh, despite its disadvantages, living where you can breathe clean air most of the time is a good thing. So that's what, what this poem is about. This poem's about stopping and smelling the roses, or in this case, watch watching snowfall on a dark forest, all alone, just you and the world, oh, in this case, his horse. With me, it's my dogs. Oh, yeah, I hope you like this. This is a great poem. Thank you for watching to the end. If you got something out of this, give me the old thumbs up, like it, subscribe, tell your friends about it. Thank you. Have a good evening.